I'm from a company called Tomorrow Today. Uh, and what we do is we look at disruptive change. Right now, you can get a driverless taxi in Singapore. In Pittsburgh at the moment, all the Uber cars are driverless, but they're still required to have a human sitting in the driver's seat. Uh, Dubai are actually going to start using driverless drones that will take you from the airport down to the Mall of the Emirates. So, you know, forget driverless cars, even driverless drones, I think, might be here faster. But here's what's going to happen. Once driverless cars become legal, they're going to become compulsory. I, I think that that jump from legal to compulsory will happen quite quickly because we know the benefits of driverless cars. If every car in the system is driverless, that's where the network effect comes. MIT models indicate that we could reduce traffic congestion by about 70%. Then we can reduce uh, traffic accidents by about 90%. So those two things alone are going to mean there's massive social pressure to move from legal to compulsory. And then, after that, fairly soon, we'll discover that we don't want to own those cars ourselves. Because if your car can drive you to the office and then doesn't park for the day, you know, your, your car spends about 90% of its life doing nothing, your most wasted asset. Um, if it can then go and do something useful with its life for the day, um, and come back at the end of the day to pick you up, well, you'll suddenly realize, well, it doesn't have to be my car that comes back and picks me up. It can just be the next car. And I think that we'll quite quickly again move to shared compulsory driverless cars. Now, in that environment, let your brain just run for a second. Which industries are going to be affected? It's everyone, right? It's the insurance companies because premiums are going to drop, who owns the cars, the legal profession then, because if you have an accident in a driverless car, it's not the driver, right? Is it the software developer? Is it the owner? If we don't need parking garages, construction's impacted, because suddenly we've got parking spaces all over the world that can be converted into much more usable space rather than just empty concrete shells. And then regional airlines get impacted. Very simple scenario of a technology we know already exists, but I don't have any insurance company clients, any construction company clients, any hotel clients uh, who are saying, driverless cars, what are we doing, guys? And we're, although we know this stuff is coming, and I, I realize it's not next year's conversation, it's not even 2020's conversation, but can you say for sure it isn't 2021's conversation for your industry? You can't. And I think that everything that's happened so far has just brought us to the starting line. And in fact, that's what I'm seeing all around us. If we now add to that list of everything from, you know, 3D printing to genetic engineering, um, and the list goes on and on and on, we realize that we're at a moment in history when actually a lot of the rules for success and failure are about to change.